When I recorded the video about how to move the video files from Dropbox directly to Bandit.net, I was asked about how to do it with the Google Drive. So here you are, I created the tutorial for you in which I will explain you how to move the video files from Google Drive directly to Bandit.net without downloading them to your local laptop. Let's start. You can see the stream video library. This is Pandit.net video library. This is under the stream section and it's completely empty. You need to go to the settings encoding and enable higher resolutions. If you skip that part and if you don't enable higher resolution, once you upload video, it will be encoded only to those HD, maximum HD resolution. It will not allow you to play with 4K. Of course, you can fix that. And for that, I also made this tutorial how to re-encode video. So you can use API to re-encode the video after applying changes in the settings. So nothing is lost. You can always fix that. But let's save some time and enable it right away. Okay, now it's ready. So go to the Manage Library and leave it as it is. Here I have a Google Drive and I have a video over there. Click on your video and then you will see the Manage Access button. Click on that and change the general access settings from restricted to anyone with the link. Then copy that link. Now open the web page toughcoding.net slash ggdrive link. This is a free application I've created for you. When you paste the link that was provided by Google Drive and click on generate. Now you have downloadable link. With that, you are going to Postman. In the Postman, there is a specific API that lets you fetch the video files to your video library. You need to have a video library ID and authentication token. So let's get that. And here you have a settings API. In this section, you have video and library ID. Copy that and place it in the link. Now you need the authorization. Copy that API key, copy to clipboard and place there. Notice that the authorization type is API key key is access key, exactly like, like this, and the value is that API key. Now switch to the body. Remember to have a type request as post. Body, raw, and type JSON. Here, open up the brackets, type URL, and then you need to place this link from the application. So you copy that generated link and place it here. Now you send that request. Success is true, message is okay, so it's starting moving the file. So let's see that in the manage library. You can see right now, there's an error, transcoding failed. Okay, let's check that link. Okay, this is a problem of the Google that don't allow you to download the, such large file, but you can fix that uh, switching to the developer mode. In the developer mode, when you click on the network, you can press that button and here you have a link, requested URL here. So you copy that link and now again, notice that this link has a timestamp, so probably it will not work after some time, send it. Now you can see that it's uploading. So when the file is smaller, then you can get this link, like I'll show you the application and you will download it directly. It will not ask you to, for confirmation. In case you, it's asking you for confirmation, then you can manage the situation like I show you. Let's wait some time until this video is downloaded. Once video is uploaded, it's being transcoded. 
So now it will transcode it to the resolutions up to 4K resolution, because this is what you selected in the encoding section. You need to wait some time to let it be finished. Now video is transcoded and video is ready to play. So you can click on that video. And it's absolutely ready. Now you can change the title and you can upload your thumbnail. This way you moved the video directly from Google Drive to Banner.net. Notice that the size is larger because it's transcoded to be played under different resolution and each resolution has a separate files and therefore it takes more space. As usual, remember to visit my blog where you can find the latest article, for example, how to get direct URL link to banner.net, which is detailed article about how to work with API and you will find much more than this.